How am I doing? Kind of tired. Then again, I'm always tired. There's nothing surprising there. Under your motto, Kremlin. Probably have to reverse a little bit. Autopilot mode enabled. Just because that's a lot of uh, it's a lot of heavy range pressure. Granted, if this is what fourteen clicks, One, two, three. That's like fourteen, nineteen, twenty something. Probably be okay, but still. General quarters. So I don't know if I'm gonna be uh, not shit. <laughs> So if I turn out that I'm just not uh, not able to do the thing, then I'll stop playing ranked. Then I'll just throw stars away for free. I might have to fight her the Kleber. We'll have to fight her the Kleber. How obnoxious. Daka daka. So there's a Minotaur there, which is pretty kicking. This is why we need Interceptor. Fighter airborne. And here's what I can do. And give that. He'll drop a fighter, which will probably end up pulling it, but... It's gonna cock block him away from the Kleber, which, by the way, we need to be working on uh, their side. Concentrate Good way of pushing up. Destination reached. Autopilot mode so work destroyed. on the Thunder Yamato. Understandable, I guess. Bears take and be, which is fucking great. Hey, there's a hard gumbo there. How you doing? How you doing, huh? How you doing? Start sieging the midway, I think. Midway's turning out. Yeah, midway's turning out. Fire at 1738. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get the midway, but I can pressure him. Which is good enough. Summers is a thing. Needed to start from further out. Be fine. <sighs> Midway's half. Hey, hi, Noranda. What's up? This is super heavy push. Let's work on a curve first. Curve first will be okay. Yeah, curve first will be okay. He'll take some damage, which sucks, but he'll be fine. Hargumo v. Kleber. Kleber wins that. There's nothing else over here. Uh, Gearing probably needs to get the fuck out. In fact, we probably do too, because it's 5v. Well, 4v5. All stations, reporting the position of a strategic target. Now, I could maybe heal through that. It's not overly excited about, but I might be able to do it. But I have to be able to heal through the fighter. That part's important. Really, really like to have gotten floods. Okay, Kleber takes the Harugumo, takes C. Retreat now. Yeah, well, he's gone, so that's cool. Autopilot mode enabled. 
Midway is super low. I'll give a fighter to this. Maybe the yam? I think I do the yam. Thunder can protect himself, yam really can't. Fighter latches, drives him back. Minotaur's being sneaky. We might get clocked. Could be a thing. I want to get to the midway sooner than later. Okay, killed one plane, I guess. Cool. So, that paid off. Midway might be going after the Kleber. Need to save boost. Midway's hiding. Yeah, he's super hidden. Try to finish this off. Be probably two good drops. the fire stick or no? It does not. Well, we don't have a shot on this, so... Okay, we'll go for the Des Moines. The bear, for some reason, has decided he wants to suicide into a Des Moines, so... I mean, we can at least respect that for what it's worth. Take uh, skip bombers. The the there we go. That's fucking cool. All right. So Clubair runs down the midway. Lost the yam. Still have caps though. Caps is having caps is important. Question is, where's the summers? They can support each other, which is cool. I could actually just sneak this way, strike the midway. I might have to do, because I'm not really going to take that shit out. The sooner I can... Okay, good, it latched. Sexy. All stations, reporting the position of a strategic target. They don't have shots on him, but they know where he is. Which is pretty big. I think I work on the midway here and just get him off the get him off the board. Triple battleship is a lot to deal with. It's a lot to deal with. But if he's on the Kleber, then that gives us time to strike into this and try to get him off the board. Probably is hard turning against the wall, but autopilot is a bitch, so. Bear's dead. Sadness. Should get two drops here. That'll be one. Won't be a kill. His saturation. Oh, the fire. Good. He got bombers out. What do we have? We have a Thunder that's pretty healthy. We have a Kerr first that's not. But Minotaur. They did clock the Summers, which is fucking great. So it's these three battleships. Autopilot mode enabled. So it's these three battleships, plus bombs. Minotaur can look after itself. Our victory is in sight. GK cannot. Bruh? Get back! Acknowledged. Fighter airborne. You might fight her. He's not gonna fight her. Interesting. Well, it's always good to waste planes. Fuck yeah. So we have an elongated heal for this, so we should be able to get through. Keep burning out the other end. Got a lot of... got a little stuck. 
Autopilot mode disabled. Unfortunately, our damage sucks with torps, but um, you know that's uh, Autopilot mode in part of the gig. It's angled to the thunderer. We go back in on this. Unless he's gonna keep turning. You gonna keep turning? Scared of like 11k torp damage? I get it, you know. It's pretty scary, but I don't know if you gotta worry about that too bad. He gets one more drop. Flood's good. Like the flood. Broadside to a thunderer. Hopefully he doesn't fuck that up. Although he just threw away a lot of health. Hey, Doe is here. Hey, Solar Fox. Zornbringer. Uh, thank you very much for the resub, Tanillion. Thank you, good sir. I'm in for the fire on the Yamatos. Because it looks... Well, it looks like he's not... Um, dropped too short there. Or did I? I think I did. We got a fire. So the fire sticks. We get to harass one more from the outside. He's still derping around with bombs for now. They still have a shitload of bad guy. So that's definitely a thing. Autopilot mode enabled. More fires, please. It's about to run out of planes. Which is fine. They fucked off? They fucked off. So I should probably try and hide behind that island. Which, I don't know, I might be able to get away with. 1 minute 30 before they touch anything. Turns out I should just run. Just run. It's the only thing I have kill pressure on. Although, I could go after the Kremlin. So I might actually drop him and then the Kremlin. Just to keep them off the caps. You get the Thunderer to turn? Or like panic or something? Maybe, right? Maybe? Destination reached. Uh oh, planes are coming. Planes are coming. See this? You better like radically turn and not go to that cap. That's what you should do. Should absolutely slam on the brakes and hard turn the fuck out. Cause you know planes. Planes are scary. Although Minotaur probably has torps. Oh good, he did turn! Fuck yes! It slows him down hopefully a little bit. Granted, he dropped torps, but uh, he did attempt to do some evasive action, which is cool. 10 seconds, doesn't get on the cap. Might get on the cap, which make it 15 seconds. Should be good. Cool. I think he got that Summers down, and I appreciate it. But thank you very much for the four months on a three-month streak, Tan Elian. Thank you very much, dude. Do the thing. I'm surprised that the uh, the thunder returned. I mean, I'm not surprised in the sense that it's like it's a human reaction to ah shit, you know, try to do something evasive. 
but um, realistically, he needed to just power right through the torps, whatever, take the uh, 12 damage, 12k damage on the chin, and just get on the cap. But when they overcommitted all three battleships, did they do that though? Because I feel like we we definitely had two battleships that went over there. Did we have all three? I think one of our battleships went mid. I don't know. I don't know. I spent a lot of uh, a lot of effort on the CV snipe. Are you not entertained? Hey, GB. Not much of a CV snipper, but I did see uh, some battleship rounds clip them, and then we kind of got them to half, so it's like, mm, maybe we can make this happen, maybe, maybe, but it did take a lot of time. Uh, mostly it's just the fact that the uh, those battleships were so flat-footed all the way over on the one line that they couldn't do anything, they couldn't come back for the retake. Should have complimented the Colbert too for like fucking soloing down that dude, the Hargoom or whatever. Surprise, motherfucker. Stealing their safe cap. You just unlocked the Shikaku. It's a good ship, I know. Very good ship. And she inherited the uh, the Lexington reticle, so her rockets are pretty badass. They hurt. They make much in the oof department is what they do. Headshot Fabric. Remember who that was? It was somebody from yesterday who wanted me to look at a replay, but I don't know if they're here. Enchanted, maybe? Or was it somebody else? I don't remember offhand. Sounds good. You play her tomorrow, you think? She's cool. She's a cool ship. This is sad to see. I don't think he really plays CVs, so I, I don't know if this is like him just like rickrolling, you know? Just kind of like, it's cool. I mean, he'll go out and attack stuff, but... Ideally, you should know what you're trying to do, and I don't know if they do. You're down for some replay reviews? Unfortunately, you blew all your points on some vanity shit. <laughs> he used to play Midway nonstop. Oh, okay. Well, if, if he actually knows. Like, I went against him once, and it was an awkward situation. It just... I wasn't sure, like, is he just... Doing this to troll, or is he really trying? Because it seems kind of weird. It was confusing. Used to try and push the hull in really close. Interesting. This is an Ohio Thunderer, and they are not on this outside, which is interesting. There's a Des Moines here. Fascinating. The brakes hard turn, hard turn, hard turn. Great. Look at that amazing damage. CV's OP. Don't really have anything that we can tag the Stalin with outside of Torps. I mean, we can try to do it. Take that. Be happy. Fighter goes down soon. Burns the damage gone. Turns the Des Moines out, which is also pretty cool. So I have to start backing up. Autopilot mode enabled. Thunderer hurts. So fighter goes down. Sure. 
Good news is the ship is really fucking fast. Bad news is we, uh, we have 50 millimeter pen or 50 millimeter deck, so our pen is a real fucking problem. Reversing. It's a hard turn. Problem solved, sir. Autopilot mode disabled. Work on the Des Moines still? Thunder can still kill us. It'll go down in about 30 seconds. Don't really think they can keep shooting at us, because they got some other shit to deal with right now. Mode enabled. Fuck. Shock. He is the focus target, but I think I have to go for the Des Moines. Back to the Stalin, maybe? Concentrate fire on the designated target. Snows out, because he was scared of the bombs. Uh, okay, those latch. That'll clean that up. Or they were late. This does not clean that up. Do I have to chase this dude? Yeah, I guess I do. Destination reached. It's fine. Mode disabled. Autopilot mode. Look at hits. We'll go down to uh, 33. Ish. Those fighters will uh get them taken out. So we don't get perma lit anyway. That'll finish off his planes. Cause the uh they don't do too much. However, that's gonna be a real problem. I need support. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Well, Hindi slowed him down, which is good, but uh, we're definitely super fucked. Hard turn, buddy. That doesn't matter. We're dead. It's heavy investment on the side with nothing to block the others. We'll eventually make the turn. Stay on the Petro. Might get two, but probably not. Be really good to deal with the Stalin. Can I work on this Petro or no? The ship is on fire. I don't think I can. It's a bad line for the rocket planes. Cool. Autopilot mode disabled. Yeah, not a shock. Autopilot mode enabled. Good, fuck Enemy off. Sunk. Thunder shells gonna hurt. We live for now. Uh, we've lost this side and we lost this side, so yeah, we'd lose in general. How's the Emeraldman working for you? It's working out okay. We have something like a 70% win rate in it. 74, I think, in ranked. Really haven't played it other in places other than ranked. Yeah, he does push. He is aggressive. Try to hit the Stolly, but be a bunch of shatters. 
too fucking close for this. But necessity is the mother of all whatever. Mother of all fuckets. I mean, they could throw. It's always a possibility, right? Thunderer is hard turning because he's scared of bombs to show broadside to a Thunderer. Okay. Torps. Giving him a fighter. I just wanna fly. Put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me, baby. I just wanna fly. Fighter airborne. I don't know what happens here. Be honest. He shoots at me, which makes sense. Autopilot mode enabled. Use evasive evasive action. He's shooting at us, he's not shooting at somebody else. So that's cool. Skirt the fighter, swing back in, drop again. That might be a kill if all four hit. That might be a kill. It is. I mean, there's no way we win this, but at least we can make them fight for it or whatever. Be good if I had torps for the Stalin. The enemy is about to win. Hello, Lennet. What's up? I just wanna fly. Put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me, baby. I just wanna fly. Destination reached. Autopilot mode disabled. Okay. We'll fly this into the fighter. We'll even drop a fighter for that, come out with torps, try to strike him twice. Fighter airborne. Autopilot mode enabled. So we should have burned his uh defensive fighter. Kag's low. Well, Yu Yang is low, sorry. Kag usually means Kigero. No, is defensive fighter still the fuck up? Really? Interesting. We get one torp, maybe two. Two. It's going for torps. Although we might be too close. I guess he'll probably get torps after. Or just not use torps. Also good. He's dead there. Just did a test, Midway versus AA Spec Nevsky, 39 plane kills, not crippling, but for clan battles can be effective. Cool. Were you on idle? Idle. Sorry, I don't know what that means. Live magic? Sometimes I can work magic. Singing? Oh, no, I just like to sing sometimes. What well, was it good? Sometimes it's better than other times.
We like it too. Woot! Probably goes for the CV snipe again. Can we play around that? Mm, that probably doesn't work. Start reversing off the cuff, because I'm going to have to. But if I'm pulling Rishtof and Igro onto me, that's good. Could be going for the Des Moines for the critical whatever. Probably goes for me. Triple Battleship, Yamato, Thunderer. Extreme range. Ohio might have a spotter plane, so same thing. Battle starts. So if he can keep me lit, you know, they'll, they'll barrage me down. Realistically, if I could make it maybe to an island. Well done, suppose that might work. We might be able to use that. Storms in the Des Moines? Okay. Well, he'll know what to do. Fighter airborne. So he's going to start capping, which will be good. Have a Graz Haragumo. Might have to long range siege the Ohio. This is their heavy push. With no DDs. Interesting. I could try for the Ristov then, but it is pretty armored. Okay, cool. So there is a DD here. Be able to light it? Be able to do something about this? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Might get lucky. We did. E. It's cool. Go for the Thunderer, maybe, just because it's isolated. Hey, look, he's coming for me. I mean, I'm surprised. I didn't realize that was coming. He shouldn't have come with a full squad, though. That's incorrect. Sure. He gets out with one plane. So you go drop a fighter somewhere. Thunderer might get a pot shot in. Still haven't seen the Thunderer though. For the spotting fighter. It's going out to do that now. Or just spotting me in general, I guess. He's about to go behind an island. He doesn't have a cross shot. Yamato does, maybe? Yeah, I mean, it's still moving pretty slow. See the plane, but we don't see the plane. Take Torps back out for the Yamato. Might take shots again. But this will resolve itself. 3v3. I still have to go for something to prevent the siege down. Okay, planes fuck off. We did get a flood on the Yamato, so you probably damage con that. I think that shot was good. Okay, I was getting fucked up. Haragumo's bailing. Gonna work on the Yoshino, the Yamato again, sorry. This might get us killed, though. Question is how quickly they can pop off that shot to rip into my side. Ohio doesn't have a line, the, Yosh the Yamato does. But it's unlikely the Yamato Citadel's here. 
German Citadel's kinda hidden, but hey, who knows? Yeah, he's not looking at us. He doesn't care. Let's see if we can swing on the Ohio. Though I'd rather stay on the Yamato. I mean, he's kind of crippled. Blood might stick. Yeah, we got blasted. Actually need to manually pilot. I do. Fucking ILO autopilot. The manually pilot the whole thing. I'm dark for what it's worth, but this is still probably a kill. That goes down. This doesn't spot me. No shells at the moment. Need to use this. Have to siege down the Ohio. Well, it's not wasting time on a CV snipe if it's effective, but I need assistance, and I have no guarantee that they will assist. 07 will assist on a, CC, a CV snipe. This is just truth. Well, cool. see, Ohio's down. Let's see where the Yamato is. I get one. I don't get a. I don't get to swing on that. Yeah, so we could probably bury ourselves in there. Um, we'll get hurt. Des Moines goes down. We don't have anything super useful. I think I actually have to snuggle up hard on there. But JFK kills me. 13k. It's two strikes. Autopilot mode enabled. Let's try that. That might work. Might work. We have a heal. We can work on the Yamato. Des Moines at least staring at contest. Richthofen kills the Des Moines because the Richthofen has the ability to come around and strike him. Graz is an issue. These dudes are moving slow. It is Storm, so hopefully you can make something happen, but Shell's coming in. Graz will still be an issue. Pop the heal, because Graz and Yamato. Des Moines got blue balls, so pushing. Storm might get the ram off, or some kind of outplay. Yeah, there's the ram. So unfortunately we don't have A, but... Yamato has to turn back out, because side. Okay, good damage. Z's capping. I don't think JFK knows how low we are. It's the only reason he's probably not up our ass, although I fully expect him to be uh, back at some point. That's pretty huge. That's actually super huge. That's stupidly fucking huge. Okay. Z smokes hydros and kills the Graz. Graz has defensive fire up, but he's gonna get double teamed with hydro, so he's dead. JFK comes for me, but the Yamato goes down. It's cool. Destination 
reached. Autopilot mode disabled. Does he though? He doesn't. He's going on the Shiki. Alright. Never mind, I don't have to fight her myself. Alright, cool. She's a win. Our victory is in sight. You overestimate JFK? Well, I overestimated JFK in the last round, and uh, he had three three battleships that wanted my dick as well, so I mean it worked out for him. But uh, you know, getting shot by an Ohio plus a pretty persistent Yamato was uh, definitely a bitch. Realistically, I don't think he knew how low we were. Um, most likely, he didn't have uh, something that tells him that other people got shots in and we're all the way down to like 13k. Because you don't get great vision on a CV. I mean, you do if you fly all the way over to fucking look at something, but you do have to deliberately fly all the way over to look at something. Um, and if you don't have panels or something that update, you may just not know. Yeah, Polar was the Ohio. He was 07. He killed me last round, because it's 07. That's what he's gonna do. Hmm, this shot's not gonna be good. That's a wasted angle. He does probably 3 to 5k here. Oh, Island fucked him. Nope, didn't. 4k, so yeah. All that shit's gone. Might come in with bombers. Short planes would be good too. We might be able to come in this way. Uh, I don't think he kills any of that, so we can just cock block him from killing us. Any tips on how to use Richthofen bombers more effectively since the nerf? Try, try, and try again. Unfortunately, that's about the best I can give you, man. Which sucks, but I mean, what you gonna do? Let's try for this. Let's try for something cheeky. Let's do that. If he gets all three torps, he might be able to do it. Plane's late. Might be able to live here. Cool. Fighter takes it. We're flooding quickly. I think I just have to run. These are the wrong planes. I don't have fighters on these planes. Come on, son of a bitch. It's 58 seconds. Yeah, it's pretty committed. Fighter airborne. Latches? Just latched. Seven planes. Oh, that kills them all. Because he comes in with nine, he only has six. He doesn't get to strike here. Daka daka. 30 seconds. I don't have any more fighters. He's coming out with torps. 25 seconds. He might get the drop. He needs a single torp. All we can do is run. Stretch out the length of the engagement. Problem solved, sir. I just want to fly. Put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me, baby. I just wanna fly. Hey there, someone told me you were a CV player. Well, they told you correct. I play, um... It's good to see you, Storm. Good job on the trade, dude. So otherwise, I would have Des Moines up my ass, which would have been extremely unpleasant. Compliments? Were you in the battle? When dropping AP bombs, is there a different in penetration or citadeling depending on high altitude or wait until screaming over the deck? Raid? What? Oh, well, 
Thank you very much for the raid, Carbine. Um, was it a whole bunch of people? Yeah, 34. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. When I play ranked, I get kind of focused in on the game, and we were uh, a bunch of people were trying to CV snipe us. So you might want to counterattack him if you're in a match with him again, once or twice to keep him honest. Uh, there's not a reason to CV snipe unless you get the kill. Because think of all the shots that came in on us that did damage to us or missed that could have been on a teammate. Well, they weren't on a teammate. And our teammates lived out outlived them. So how many of those shots on us into maybe one of our battleships gets a battleship dead and then they win the match? So it comes down to that. Like, if it gets the kill, you did something. If it doesn't get the kill, it didn't. Would have gotten away with it too. Check out your detailed report. Detailed report. Detailed report of what? On. Um, yeah, but it works both ways too. Who did damage to me? Uh, mostly the Yamato, I think. Was it you? Oh, did the Yamato never landed shells? It was only you? Oh, okay. I thought the Yamato got big hits, but no, I guess it was just shots from you. I think the Yamato did take shots, but maybe there were misses. That would make sense. Well, the Yamato's not an 07. Yamato's in QC1, whatever that is, so that's not a shock. Sure you are, Polarberg. I'm sure you are. <laughs> Um. Oh yeah. But anyway, um, what was I saying? I mean, CV snipe is a gamble. So, in this instance, Polarberg was able to do forty-one thousand damage to us, which means all the CV would have had to do is about twenty-four thousand. Twenty-four thousand is doable, but it's still like three, four, five strikes. So that's like four to six minutes of your time potentially more if i'm maneuvering and fucking with you with uh, fighter plane placement and stuff so it comes down to how much of your time are you donating to like this thing which is hopefully to get you a late game advantage because hey their cv's dead fuck yeah if you kill their, their cv early or maybe mid game can you roll that advantage forward because if you take those shots and for instance you know the forty-one thousand that we took we had two battleships roaring down on that Ohio Yamato, and Polarberg was getting wrecked by a double battleship. You know, what what would what could have been the difference there if the Yamato, the CV, and the Ohio focused down and killed one of those ships before he was like critical mass down to 12k or something? Because I know he got low, he healed up a few times, but ultimately got taken out. I mean, that could have been a big difference. So it it's good if it works. If it doesn't work, then you wasted a lot of damage, which can be rough. Part of me was rooting for you to solo warrior the first game. Well, I got a solo warrior this morning, which was nice. I got a solo warrior in a Veneto. I played some Italian battleships uh, this morning, so I ended on that one. That was good enough that I'm like, I'm going to stop here. <laughs> So that was my 11th solo warrior. Woot. But. Um, what am I doing? Let me do it. Oh, sorry. So to the folks that came with um, Carbine Carlito. Hi, uh, my name is Esconce. I play CV, I'm CV main. Uh, I played the game before, never really took. My friend showed me the rework. I, I picked it up and then I just kind of played every day for like five months or something. So, I don't know, I found CV to be interesting, and then I found CV to be divisive, because people were like, rawr, fuck CV. So, I started teaching other people how to play against CVs, as well as how to play CVs. Um, so, that's kind of what I do on my stream. Uh, I do uh, play other stuff. I play destroyers. I occasionally play battleships. Cruisers are my weakest, as they do have a tendency to just explode, like, uh, explode randomly. But, um, outside of that... Predominantly, I do teaching uh, CV stuff. However, when I do uh, ranked play, I'm often focused in on the game. So I'll, I'll try to like mumble about what I'm seeing, what I'm doing, why I'm doing something, whatever. 
But in terms of like going into really descriptive concepts of this mechanic or that mechanic, mechanic or really heavily interacting with chat, I tend to do those more when I have, uh, I'll name it like flight instructor, carrier play-by-play -play or something, in which case we take a lot of time. We might do replay reviews, we might pop it over to the whiteboard, I'll uh, I use paint, whatever, to uh, throw up some descriptions of mechanics and concepts. But uh, I've actually explained a lot of things. So sometimes people have a question and I already have an answer for it and I've already uploaded the YouTube video. So I'll just link them a video. <laughs> I see and understand what you're saying. If not doing that, you might want to keep moving parallel to the battle line for this back so you're not spotted as easily. Uh, the specific problem with that is when I play, uh, when you play a German carrier, when you play the Richthofen or the Immelmann, you can, if you want to, you can take concealment. Uh, unfortunately, Hidden Menace, which is concealment, is bugged, so this will get a lot of your planes killed, so... Eh. Um, but if we look at the concealment score on this, 14.2. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> the detection on this is horrendously god-awful. Fuck you, Terra bad. And the other problem is, while she's armored on the sides, her deck is 50 millimeters. This is easily penned by any battleship that exists. Battleship just chucks HE, whoop, rips right through it. Doesn't bounce or anything. Even some cruisers can pen through this. So you you are very vulnerable to long range harass in the Immelman or the Richthofen, which is one of the reasons why I started reversing immediately. In the second match, we had an island that I could try to dive for, which is what I did. So, I mean, you know, we tried to do something. Uh, okay. Well, nice to see you, Darius. What were the older comments? Also, if you ask a question and I don't see it, don't be afraid to ask a second time. Because chat moves, so... Hidden Menace is bugged? Yes, Hidden Menace is bugged. So, let me get you... I'll give you the PSA for that. Did you ask something? What was your question? Is it like way the hell back? <sighs> when dropping AP bombs, is there a difference in penetration or citadeling depending on whether you are go from high altitude or screaming in over the deck? Okay, is he still here or did he bail? If he's still here, I can link him a video for that. Cool. Um, so, it's not about the pen value doesn't change from the height. Um, what it actually does is the angle. So I'm going to give you, uh, this is the German bombing angle video. That is the German bombing angle video. And these are all on my, tw on my YouTube. So if you just search AP bomb, this is going to be the Japanese AP bombing angle. Um, this is what an AP bomb is going to see, you know, if you haven't technically checked that out in the port. And, um, there is kind of like a how-to, uh, with the bombing, but as far as making MVR bombs suck less, there's not really, uh, there's not really a magic trick to making them suck less. Uh, Wargaming increased their dispersion, so sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. Uh, there's not really a magic spot. Uh, they're gonna usually drop toward the outside of the reticle, so some people will bomb with the edge of the reticle. Sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. But in general, um, the sooner you drop, the, like the, the earlier you drop, the further the reticle is down, so the straighter the line is, which means the pen is more effective. Because the pen doesn't change. The pen doesn't care when you drop or where you drop. It's just fired. Um, so the line is what matters. If you go all the way down to the bottom, you might have a reticle like this where the bomb could be pitched forward, but the bomb could also go straight down. So you might get lucky, but in general, if you drop high, most of the angle is downward in a good way. It's kind of the abbreviated context of that video. But that'll give you, that should be quite a bit of information that hopefully will help. What is the best CV for competitive at tier 10? Uh, do I have one there? I think I just had a video about that. Tier 10. This. 
I think this gives you what you're looking for. Um, who is that? Racelings? Uh, you can watch that and then you can ask me after. Like if you've got additional questions or something, I can try to clarify. You're a good teacher, Sconce. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah, I guess he bailed. So, sorry to the Darius dude. Is there a way to pan back so that the reticle is easier viewed than doing a complete look down? Uh, yes, you can scroll back on your mouse wheel. Just like you could zoom back in port or zoom in in port, you can do the same thing with planes. You can scroll back on the mouse wheel and back up some. Which can be helpful. So if you back up, you can kind of see the edge of the reticle down in the, on the, the ocean, but you can also kind of see the edge of where the flak is, so you can sort of see both. It's just something you get used to. Let me see this dude. Uh, that should answer your question. Okay. Additional context. All right, well, whatever. Dude'll be dude, so. What are we against? Hakuryu? It's fine. It's kind of a waste of a fighter, unfortunately, but, um. I mean, it technically deals with some spotting. This is a bitch, though. This is super unfortunate. This is what I can do, not that I want to do it, and I'm actually going to give them a... Well, I mean, it's a Holland. Probably be okay. I'll just help him get from point A to point B. We need to see if we can get resets at C, because this is going to be a bitch. Although they do have a Holland, which is also going to be a bitch. So, like, you can zoom in. You can zoom out. You see the planes further out. When you're looking at the down angle, the difference is... I mean, you just see further ahead while you're trying to figure it out can be pretty useful. It, like I said, it's, it's not optimal, but it's, it is a way that you can see what you need to see when you need to see it. Do we have this drop? Oh, we found the Holland. They take that early. This is a problem. It's 3v2. We probably lost a bunch of planes there. Okay, so, sorry, um, to everybody that has shitloads of questions and stuff in chat, I'm gonna be zoning in on this, so you can ask, and I might be able to read it and get back to you, but if, uh, it's delayed, my apologies, but I I'm not gonna be able to do both things at once, because I've already fucked up, like, three times, and, uh, that's kind of an issue. Do some, something about the Z, maybe? Hindi? Teammate, I need your support. Attention, support that target. The fuck are you going, dude? Sorry, we lose. It really sucks. Unless we get outrageously stupidly lucky, but... Hey, who knows, you know? 
good hits. Why do we still see him? Okay, now we don't. It's confused. Maybe? We sunk an enemy destroyer. Great battle when something useful happens. It's not yet a great battle. Ridiculously stupid when the German bombs have a circle and it's so small. What? Are you talking about the Lowenheart? Sorry, I don't I don't know what CV you're talking about. I thought it was we were talking about like the German stuff. Yeah, Lowenheart is is not like other German ships. Uh, Lowenheart is a premium. She has uh, high explosive bombs, not AP bombs. So, sorry, maybe that was the misunderstanding. Yeah, this defensive fire has fucked me twice. Okay, so we get three planes back. Cool. So we have uh, seven. It's gonna be a problem. Minotaur's dead. You gotta, you gotta bail, dude. They bailed on you, so unfortunately you have to bail. It's just that's, Roger. it's just the reality of the situation. Let's work on the thunder to get these dudes somewhere off the two line. Maybe. Uh, cause they're gonna take B, and then we lose to cap pressure. Lord Smiley, thank you very much for the seven months, dude. Hard turn. That kill? No. But it sets a fire, which is cool. We can siege down the Hindi. Okay, Thunder goes down. Montana probably ends up clocking the Des Moines. Oh good, Storm is the Montana. I thought Storm was the Des Moines. I'm like, well fuck, we already lost Storm. That's, that's no good. Okay, cool. So, Storm should be able to handle the Des Moines, I think. I assume. So we're going to start cock blocking over here. You good, Storm? Repel air attack. Yeah, well, that's going to be a problem, bro. Denied. Fuck. <sighs> it's probably dead. Can you. Can you just shoot the Des Moines in the face? Nope. Well, I can't stop the Holland, so... Uh, Minotaur... I don't know. Maybe the Minotaur does something useful? Yam probably kills the Des Moines. Probably. Maybe. Maybe. I think we have to help with the fucking Holland, because that's the unkillable bastard. Might get two bombs, maybe. Needed a lead more. We got one, and we made him turn to a Minotaur, so that's actually pretty sexy as fuck. Yes, please, more of that. All of that. Oh, buddy. And he even left the cap. Fuck yes. Minnow god, what is this? Does it matter what line you use to aim the skip bombers? The first bombers have more vertical dispersion, forward, backward. Mid has a medium amount. Uh, the last one has the tightest vertical back forward dispersion. So, the lines are used as a reference point, but the bomb can land past or before the line and then go back into its skip. Okay. Sexy. Did we get... no. So, the Hindi gets out. Yamato... well... I don't know. We'll s hopefully he's okay. Okay. 
Laid on the heel. I should have saved one of those planes. Two. God, that dispersion is awful. Maybe we get two. Calls. Destination reached. Autopilot mode disabled. Wouldn't it be nice if I could touch your body? I know not everybody has got a body like me, baby. Before you throw your heart away, say please, please, please go away. Becomes a notion. Oh, he throws my heart up on the floor. Well, the Kleber cock blocks Charlie. Why did I s fuck? No, please don't stop. Okay, it's gotta be low. Yeah, but I have to use skip bombers because this dude's just gonna maneuver all over the fucking place. The Kleber might die, which would be a severe fucking problem. All stations, proceed to capture that area. Need to get the kill on the Hindi. If we get the kill on the Hindi, then I think that secures it. Oh, this river becomes an ocean. That's a kill. Dead. Oh, my heart upon the floor. Yam has enough health to be okay. Minotaur's at risk. If the Kleber goes down, that shores points back up. But Minnow's gonna be in B. We have three fighters, so we can be generous. Bear does not care about C. Fighter airborne. Well, I mean, at this point, it's pretty guaranteed. Clubert goes down, but we still... We have wind condition as soon as the Minotaur cock blocks. So, the question is if the Minotaur dies. But, seven minutes, we got a lot of time. Holy fuck. That works. Dropping higher should equal more chance to overpen? What? <sighs> what?
Okay. GG Scots had to go broad to the DM while the Thunder was still alive, so you lost a lot of HP doing that. And the planes finished you off before you get a heal. I kind of figured you would be able to round the corner and bitch slap the Des Moines, so I'm like, okay, Storm's probably got this. I'm gonna go cock block over here, because I mean, it was three people running toward a minnow that was alone. So, um, but then all of a sudden you had torp planes on your ass and you were starting to maneuver wildly, so it's like, ooh, that's not gonna look good. But I didn't really have a tool to get you out of it, so I was not in the place to save you. Um, so this is high, higher chance of overpen thing. When German CVs were introduced, you remember guidelines from Wargaming, the height at which you drop on the bombs matters. The higher you drop them, the less chance to overpen a cruiser. Uh, no. Um, here, I'll just, I'll just try to explain this real quick. So, we'll just do this. Um, here you got a ship, whatever, doing ship stuff. Woo! And actually, we'll try to make it more to the water or something, and here, we'll, we'll get you some water line going. Oh, yeah. High-tech art and shit. Um, so, your planes, if you're in, like, German planes, you're coming over here, you're gonna start into a dive immediately, and then it's gonna cut, uh, well, actually, it probably cuts more like this. Cuts pretty far down, and then it starts to peel up, and then it starts to peel up a little more. So because of this, uh, the reticle is going to constantly shift beneath you. So you have a reticle that's maybe like when you're here, something like this, but as it starts to dive further and further, it starts to push more and more ahead of where those planes are. When you drop your bombs, all you're doing is drawing a line from wherever you are to the reticle somewhere. So if your bomb goes here, that's a pretty decent line for cutting through this deck and ripping into the citadel. But if you drop and you, your bomb goes all the way out here, then suddenly that's a pretty weird angle that's gonna add a lot of armor to the ship. So it makes it less and less likely it pens deck after deck after deck to get to the citadel and it just pops early and you don't get any real good damage. You just get pen. Um, the dropping early, making more overpen something, I don't really know what the hell that means. As soon as the bomb is spawned, it has a set amount of pen. So like if we just pretend this has 233 millimeters of pen, if you dropped the bomb sideways and the bomb was just like going off into outer space doing this, one, it's not affected by gravity, so it's just going to go in a line. Um, I think there's a little bit of a gravity calculation on the bomb so that it looks like it's falling or something. So there's that, I guess, too, but maybe that helps you with your angling. But in terms of, like, rockets, rockets don't deal with gravity. They just shoot in a line. They don't care. Uh, the game doesn't model that for them, so it's not a concern. And it starts with 233, and it ends with 233. It does not lose or gain pen over the course of its life. It just has a set value. So if you're up here, your reticle might be like this. And if you draw that line, this is all pretty straight down. Whereas, if you drop here, your reticle might be out here, and if you look at this, you're going to have, you know, potentially a good line, but potentially a really shitty line. This is where you might start bouncing off the deck, because it's projected so far forward. Hopefully that answers the questions. Happy little bombs. So velocity does not affect penetration. No, not for dive bombers, not for rocket planes. The individual asset is its own asset. It moves at its own speed. You don't gain speed by bombing by the dive process or the early release or gravity or nothing. It just, it's spawned. It has a, a way that it's gonna fall and then it executes the fall and it has a set amount of pen. It's very basic. <clears throat> You thought there was an early drop thing too. Well, I don't I don't know what y'all are talking about. If if you give me more to go on, I might know what you're referring to, but I, other than that, I don't know. You think that was a relic of the RTS carrier? I, d I don't know. I have no information on dropping high, increasing over pens or something. So that I, I am not sure what that's supposed to be in reference to. In terms of what I know about the game and how the game executes, 
Rare. Now, okay, I do actually have one, one way that I think I know what you might be describing, if I'm thinking of it this way. Okay, so let's pretend, here you got a ship, here you got your citadel. Um, we'll have, uh, we'll pretend that's like deck number two, and then whatever, you got your citadel down here. Here's like, this is, this is the good shit. This is the good space. Um, and then you got basic deck stuff. So let's just label this. We'll say this, like, we'll pretend this is a battleship, right? We'll say that this is a 50 millimeter deck. We'll say that this is a 40 millimeter, whatever. And then to get into the Citadel, you have a hundred. Easy numbers, who cares? Your Hikuryu bombs get dropped and they start uh, coming in. So you've dropped your bombs. They've got a really good down angle and they have 233 millimeters of pen. So 233 minus 50, cool, minus 40, cool, we're still, uh, we're still north of it, minus 100. Ultimately, 233 minus 190. We get through, goes through, boom, blows in the Citadel. Awesome. You know, the pen checked out. Well, what if you had too much pen? What if instead of this, there was no middle deck, this was a cruiser, and then suddenly this cruiser had... Um, we'll, uh, we'll change this out to some, like, light cruiser, say. And we'll have, um, we'll have, uh, 35 millimeter, and then the deck is going to be, like, a 30. So that's what it'll be. And on the bottom here, it'll be another 35. So, if you're dropping with this extreme drop angle, say, you've got your 233 millimeters of pen. Well, because this is so extremely sharp, we're not really adding any armor here. So it goes through the first one, goes through the next one, goes through the next one. So theoretically, you could rip through so quickly, drop out the bottom and explode because you'd overpen through the citadel out into the water. So if instead you dropped more at an angle like this, you dropped later in the drop, so you pitched it forward. Well, if we look at what this 30 millimeters is, you know, if this is 30, but you're coming in at like this kind of angle, well then maybe this is more like 45. You know, well, we're just basic easy math here. Well, suddenly this goes up to 45, this goes up maybe half again, so this becomes, uh, again, easy math, we'll say 52, another 52. So it's gonna be more, but it's also gonna be a longer travel time because instead of this distance, it's now this distance, which is quite a bit further, you know? It's yay far whatever. So if this was when the bomb exploded, you wrap this over, this is where the bomb explodes because there's more distance. So if it primes off this, because there's more distance and there's also more armor to pen through, it's more likely you do not overpen the Citadel and you pop in a light cruiser because the light cruiser is gonna be so lightly protected. That's probably what it's in reference to. If you drop really high, you have so much pen, you might blink go, or blink, go right through and blurp into the water. That's probably what they were talking about. Watched your CV YouTube vids you linked me today and it really helped with my gameplay against CVs. It was a challenge, but I felt more confident. Thank you. Good. That was the, uh, that was the, uh, Nustrashimi, I think. Uh, I think that was the Nustrashimi game. Cool. Well, I'm glad you helped, man. Will I be streaming COTS? Yeah, uh, Bogsy will be the co-caster. We'll be doing COTS again. Because there's no CVs in COTS, so... What am I gonna do? I think I got to like round of eight or round of, maybe it's the round of eight with TNG. I played a Summers. In your bombing video you turned into drop, did you use your A and D key or mouse turn? Uh, probably A and D, because if you're hard turning, you want a hard turn. You don't want to dick with it with fine stuff. What will I play in COTS? I'll play the role of the streamcaster. I'll watch other people play and yammer at the screen about what's going on. I could do a song and dance number. La la la!
But I'm really happy to hear that, Cotton Cuddle. I'm happy that it helped you, dude. Um, because, I mean, CVs are a threat. They are a threat. Radar cruisers are a threat. Enemy destroyers are a threat. The question is, the more you know about what they can do and what you should expect, the better the decisions you're going to make and the better, uh, hopefully, the better the outcomes you're going to have. So, uh, if you have more questions, if you have a game where you're just like, I just got wrecked, what could I do? I have no idea. Save the replay, we can check it out. You know, I'll do uh, anti-CV tactic replays pretty much for free. If the voice for casting, well, thank you. Some days my voice is better than other days. Some days I'm more musical. So you finessed the turn, held it down for a second or two to get the reticle to turn into the target. Um, well, we're just waiting here, so I'll try to describe this. This is turning into a flight instructor session instead of a ranked session, so maybe we've done our ranked for the day. Um, let's try to explain this. Sure, we'll get some Veneto. We'll do the uh, Parzival. Because tier 8. Sea Raptor and I should team up. Nah, I've got I've got my teammate. Sea Raptor's got his teammate. He, Lord Zath and Sea Raptor, they're a couple. Um, and then me and Bogsy, we're we're snuggle buddies. So it's all good. You have a lot of CVs. Uh, you have a lot of respect for CVs. You're one of the haters for a long while, but now I understand them and see that they're a key part of battles. You like working with your teammate CV as a destroyer, and also have the fun of trying to fox the enemy CV. I. I find that if I'm in a destroyer, I want to CV to be on my team. Not saying that I'm really excited to go against the enemy CV, because that could be a bitch, but having the possibility of knowing what I'm going into, instead of just like walking into a situation where I get my ass kicked, you know, you'll have some players that would be like, if you were a great player, you would never walk into a situation that you weren't expecting. Yeah, people get surprised. People throughout all of history have gotten surprised by shit, so I don't know about that. All right, so we're gonna off-angle turn on the Vene on the Veneto, which is about 30 degrees. So we're gonna put the reticle about here, and then you'll notice once we click, the reticle spawns below the planes. And we're gonna hard turn, and we're gonna look at the camera where we want it to go. Why are we also gonna look with the camera? Because if we don't look with the camera at the same time, then we get this. We start to turn. Oh, okay, we can do this. We can turn a little bit, we can turn a little bit, and it comes back. Comes back. Comes back. Comes back. So, ultimately, holding D means it's going to ignore the mouse and it's going to go hard turn. Or holding A, holding D. Ignore the mouse, go hard turn. But, because we're still going to know where we want to, want to go, I'm gonna move the mouse to where the ultimate goal is because I don't want to turn just for the mouse to fuck it up and turn back. So I'm not using the mouse to turn, I'm using the keyboard to turn until I'm close enough that I feel like I can just let the mouse do the rest of the work. So in that case, we hard turned, got really close, then we let go of the keyboard and let the mouse do the work. Fortunately, we hit the guns, is what it is. So, once again, slam on the brakes, maybe hard turn, cool, let the mouse do it, there we go. So, are all your drops going to be perfect and be triple citadels? No, but that's how you catch the line, that's how you do what you do. That helps a lot, woot. Every time I play CV, I get so much hate and harassment, it's unreal. Yeah, well, uh, there's a lot of people, uh, people fear what they don't understand, and uh, CVs are different enough that not everybody's going to play them, so if you have a bad interaction, and then you talk to somebody else, and they say, oh, CVs are fucking terrible, there's nothing you can do, there's nothing you can do, well then, they all they learned was, I had a bad interaction, and my friends told me there's nothing I can do, so where's the learning? Where's the, where's the growth? Where's the figuring out what you can do? The answer is there's not. So you get a whole 
community reinforcement concept of there's nothing I can do, there's nothing I can do, there's nothing I can do, which doesn't help anyone. So part of putting this out there is so that, you know, somebody knows something, they can share it, which is good. All right, well, we're not against an 07 member, so the likelihood of the CV snipe is much different. But I should still reverse, because it is a Yamato. And if he is going to go heavy for us, then at least we can draw it out. Sometimes really pushes you away from playing, because you're done receiving hate and discussing it all the time. Uh, I agree, it's a bitch. Um... I I don't like bullies, and I like helping people. Um, so I do help people, and when I see people getting bullied for this bullshit, it does irritate me. So I don't know. There are days when I'm like, "Fuck this shit." I should, you know, why am I playing this game? I'm pretty sure everybody, especially people that play CV, get that. Uh, but I really like the game, and there are good people in it that need somebody that can, I don't know, teach? Help? We go for the Marceau. It's fine. Drop that, we'll go for the Marceau. Marceau's AA is probably still on? It is! One bomb, which was not very much at all. I don't really get to go back in on this, do I? Maybe I do. Maybe on the Salem. Put on the Salem. Fighter airborne. Sure. Probably either Rockets is our Rockets me. Ooh, we got four. It's tasty. Bad line for the Zhao. Coast through. Fighter airborne. Autopilot mode enabled. Oh, whatever. If he wants to strike us, he'll do some damage. Doesn't matter. Can work on the Stalingrad. The real thing is the Yamato is so far away. I can't really imagine him going for CV snipe. If he wants to derp around doing some damage, it's not really going to result in much, so... Sadly, our Zhao got fucked. Which is a problem. So, Graz. Sam's on the brakes, might eat two. Did 12k. I just rescue him from Holland Torps? Maybe. Sorry, friend. Wants to shoot down some planes. Yeah, sorry, man. Let me do something against this. Salem's too far away to help, keeping this dude spotted. Go away, sir. Thank you. Enemy destroyer blown up. He loves me. Attention! Reporting the target the position. The We're flooding quickly. 
Auto Interesting. Mode enabled. One? I think it won. It's cool. Yamato shells out. Might bounce. Might not. Miss. Good stuff. Force the Salem in. Maybe. It actually angled to the uh, other dude. Heal? Heal soon. Yeah, so Yamato could shoot me or you shoot the Montana. He shoots me. Does it matter? Solved, sir. Survey says no. So these are multiple shots that could have gone into the Montana, but did not. Uh, Holland murders them. They kill the fucking planes. So Stalin's actually, holy shit. That's, that's fucking crazy town. Okay, I didn't realize that. Defend that area. I need help. Roger. You can have a, st a Stalin up our ass tune, too. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Really? Fucking brilliant. Got resets? Didn't get resets. It's too bad. Well, whatever. I mean, he's in smoke, so what are we gonna do? Need to work on the Yamato. Why aren't you getting Stevie snipe so much in the Immelman? Uh, maybe because you're perceived as a threat, I don't know. Because you are? Work on the Yamato? AP bombs for the Montana. It's pretty inaccurate. Need to try to work on the Salem, maybe. The fuck is this? Okay. Destination reached. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Once the Yamato is gone, I can start to maneuver. This dude's fully fucking broadside to a Montana? Bruh. It's three. And then the Rist the Ristofen dies. Daring needs to help with the Graz. Cool. Yamato goes down. Work on the Salem. Autopilot mode enabled. I mean, they they should be able to kill the kill the fucking Ristofen, right? Haru, use AP. You don't need to light them on fire. Just use AP, dude. Yeah, shock. Hey, Montana. Buddy. Should use torps for this. Fucking terrible. Okay. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but I'm glad it did. Is that daring torps? I don't know how the Salem died. I'm curious about that. Okay, Montana kills that. He wants to come derp around with me, that's a waste of time. 
So, that's cool. Autopilot mode enabled. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Let's see if we can work on the uh, Stalingrad. Fighter airborne. There's the Stalingrad. How you doing? How you doing, huh? How you doing? Disabled. Autopilot mode enabled. Yeah, fuck that noise. Austin starts lighting into him. Lives. Cool. Uh, Daring? Daring, bro? I guess he's just forced out, so he probably dies to the Graz. It's kind of a bitch. Yeah. You're flack, bud. Hey, we got a hit. Limbo! Normal flak. Darren kills the Graz! He did the thing! The Italian line really took a toll on his cons. Uh, okay. Died to the Austin? The Austin killed the Salem? Ah, okay. He had the range to do that? <laughs> hey, white mane. Pretty incredible throw from GFK. JFK's been playing uh, really aggressively in the CV snipe territory, but the difference between that game and other games was he didn't really have battleships that were able to pressure. The Yamato kept chucking shells at us, but I mean, we were angled, so it didn't matter. My accent? My accent. Okay. Um, stop obsessing with it? I don't know. Roar! All the CCs really created an angry mob that's attacking anyone who doesn't approve of their CV totally broken mentality. It's sad to see because in the past it wasn't like that. There are some CCs that are not like that. Um... The, the CC program, I noticed when they brought me in, they also brought in, I think, Rimu? Or maybe they brought him out, brought him in shortly after, and I think there was another one or two CV people that came in as well. So, it could be that, uh, you know, they noticed a deficiency in uh, not really having some CV people. Um, you're of the mind when you finally take your CVs into random other modes, so just blacklist the trolling haters, you don't need the distraction. Honestly, um... You should. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. They're not Mozart, you know? They're not writing the, the, the fucking next works of Shakespeare to you in chat while they bitch at you and scream and shit. Just, if they feel that they need to stop their day to tell you to go fuck yourself and feel bad, then yeah, blacklist them. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna be wasting your time. Um, yeah, Gibbons is, uh... <laughs> I want to make I, like I want to make sure that I'm being straight here. CVs are strong. They are strong. You can pull power out of carriers, and they'll still be interesting to play. 
which could be a sign of an issue. You could pull spotting out of carriers. They'd still be interesting to play. You could cut the damage that carriers do in half. God knows they keep nerfing the dispersion. Um, they'll still be interesting to play. Like there's a lot there. So there's a lot of like endemic capability in the class. So when people are upset about that, it's not that they don't have a point, but it is an issue when people are just straight up being cocks about it. Like hate the, like, you know, don't hate the player, hate the game kind of thing. You know, you can be mad at the game, but when you start bashing the fuck out of players for playing something, it gets really problematic. And more so when you're bashing the players for playing it, but you're not trying to help players to learn how to deal with it. When all you're telling them is go fuck yourself, hope the CV sucks, or quit the game or something. Like, it's just, it's not useful. It's bad. So, anyway, um, yeah, woo. So if it comes down to it, dude, just don't be afraid to blacklist because it's going to be like that. It, it sucks, but it's just, it is what it is. Is the EU CV main for something still a C for something? Uh, Ferizelith? Uh, no. Ferizelith liked the RTS style, and I don't think he's a big fan of the, R the rework style. It just doesn't engage him. It's not interesting to him. So I think he just plays other games and got busy living life. Thanks for the words, Yeehaw. There are plenty of horrible CV players, just like every class. That is also true. Like, one of the things that's an issue in the forums is when people talk about, well, a super unicum CV will never lose this advantage, and you're definitely fucked if you come across a super unicum CV. Awesome! CVs are 5% of the player base, and Super Unicum players are like 5% of that. So the likelihood that you have to deal with that shit is extremely fucking small. So, <laughs> it's, it's not as bad as you make it out to be. <laughs> How do I feel submarines will affect CV play when they get added? Um, to me, submarines are lower detection, lower DPM uh, destroyers. So, destroyers can be assholes. I assume submarines can be assholes too. Uh, you'll have some secret mission submarines that their goal in life will be to sink you. We'll we'll figure out all that shit when it comes to it. Even at that, a super unit comes CV on a shitty team still loses 90% of the time. I mean, if the team dies, CVs don't take map positions. They threaten map positions. So you can help get your team into a cap. You can help your team on a flank by finding and killing a destroyer or lighting a destroyer so they can kill it. But you have to help them claim the map position. Otherwise, you're just running around bashing on shit. But if you have a really good battleship that can nail things for citadels, then effectively they're just doing the damage that you're doing instead. So you can just do damage, which could lead to a win, because if you kill the enemy, that's a leading cause of, well, winning the game. But... It's also how you do what you do. And if you can enable your team to be twice as strong as they would normally be, well then, yeah, you'll overwhelm the enemy. You use matchmaking monitor, you see terrible players who are even worse than CVs. Sure. How often do you see a Razor? Never on a, a, a NA. How often do you see Gaishu? Rarely. He's a DD main that sometimes uh, runs CVs. How often do you see a Sconce? Yeah, not so often, really. Like, some people know my name. A lot of people have no idea who the fuck I am. They don't care. It's, it's, <laughs> like, realistically, man, there are people that are still figuring out how to torp stuff. You know, there, there are still people that are figuring out how to rocket stuff, you know? So, <laughs> everybody's got to start somewhere. Not everybody is, like, the pinnacle of fucking capability. And if you end up running up against a super unicum, it sucks to play against super unicums because they're really fucking good. So, maybe you don't win that game. Shit. Maybe you win the next one and all the ones after it. Like, it's okay. If I join the US Open and I start going against, like, you know, Federer or Venus Williams or something, it, I'm fucked, you know? <laughs> There's not really a way around that. I'm not a tennis player like that. Okay, so... Once again, we are against Mr. JFK. 
Triple battleship this time, though. So we've got the Yamato, we got a Thunderer that's going to be a problem. Might get lucky there. Might not. But it'd be really cool if we did get lucky. Fighter airborne. We gonna get lucky? Fuck yeah! That latches. He latched to us, but we get our we get our kills first. He recalls. That's cool. I'm happy with that. And they'll kill each other, which is sadness. But I mean, can't have everything in life. Keep backing up. Got a fire. Lost a bunch of planes for it. Is JFK stream sniping? No. CV sniping means trying to go after a CV to get it killed early. Stream sniping means looking at somebody who is currently streaming a game to get basically an illegal advantage. So no, stream sniping is very different than CV sniping. CV sniping's just shooting the fucking CV, trying to get it dead. So we're not trying to get kills here, we're just trying to make beep 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 noises to fuck with this dude. Although he might eat a torp. Which is cool. Planes latched. Which is good. That's gonna fuck off with this whatever thing that he likes to do where he comes back on us. So that sends his planes home. We can torp the gearing. And we still have the fighter up for a while, which is kind of cool. Attention! Reporting a target reached. position. Autopilot mode disabled. Fighter latches, Daka Daka. Loses planes. I am okay with that. All stations, proceed to capture that area. Good threat and B. Well, he can't, I guess, because he'd have to be in the open. We'll drop him another fighter. We'll do the thing. I have, to, I have to stay at range. We could potentially work on the gearing, maybe. Latches. Loses planes. Loses five planes. Maybe. Just two. Yeah, so the Stalin's just gonna force the issue and fucking murder the Marceau. Get back. Gotta bail, dude. Gotta bail. That's a lot of fighters. Maybe work on the Thunderer? Though really, working on the Thunderer is kind of a problem. Because he's really off in the middle of nowhere, not doing anything interesting. But can we work on this? I think the Stalin is important. Work on the... What is this? Why is the Puerto Rico... Okay, it's reversing, which is good. I don't want to be so far back, but... You know, all these dudes are on top of each other, so the shit is what it is. Get some YOLO torps off? That might be a kill. That's some oof. It's a lot of oof. Palumbo cuts wide, he might try to do his little bullshit with me. Fighter Fighters latch. Although he's probably gone by then. He missed the gearing. Pop the heel for the Stalin. 
got one hit on the gearing. Columbo's got to roll up big somehow. I don't know what he's going to do. He might clap the uh, Richthofen. Come out with more Torps. Teammate, I need your support. I think we start pulling up. Maybe, maybe we bait fire at this point. See, he didn't get his little early harass stuff off. Our Thunderer goes down pretty soon. Just sad times. Stalingrad goes down though. It's pretty huge. Lumbo rounds the corner. Richthofen is uh safe. Stalin goes down soon. Stalin goes down real soon. Yamato's full health. I think I have to go on this. I have to keep him lit for the Montana to do stuff. Decent hits. There's also a Thunderer. This is a problem. We killed the Stalin, that's pretty huge. Columbo is dueling. Which is potentially a real problem. Dealing with a gearing on top of the fucking Stalin. Good. Autopilot mode enabled. Columbo's losing the trades. It's decent. Lumbo could smoke, probably. That's... I mean... Lumbo could fuck up a Yamato, right? Maybe. Although maybe he just has to ram him. Which might actually be the best thing. He goes dark soon. Kind of, maybe. Now they're within, like, detection distance of each other. He's going for the... Maybe? Please? Can we help him? Can we help him? Whatever, we helped a little. We tried. Montana's probably ripping JFK up. Destination reached. Autopilot mode disabled. Autopilot mode Fuck. Enabled. Well, trade didn't work out so hot. Shimmeran from the gearing, understandable. I might die to the yam. That would hurt, though. He hasn't put out the f uh, flood, so he's dead to a flood. Good. Enemy battleship destroyed. Gearing still a problem. I could just drop this. Right? That's something I could do.
fucking Christ. below the waterline. We're flooding quickly. Might be a kill. We've sunk an enemy aircraft carrier. Maybe the Shima grows balls now? Gearing's dead. Please. Get caps. <clears throat> I think we win this. Awkward match, yes. Do I like the audacious? I do. See, this another throw by JFK thing. I don't know if you're seeing the same match that I'm seeing. How's Max working out for me? Oh, it's doing okay. Uh, I, I do enjoy it. It has its strengths, it has its weaknesses. Who is JFK? Lieutenant JFK is... Uh, Notorious on the server for being somebody that screams at everybody all the time. He had no reason to push into the cap. If he had not done that, he'd still be alive to kill your ships. Well, the real question is, would he be able to kill our ships? Because he threw all every fucking plane he had at us. He was down to the dregs of what he had. I mean, if he was all the way out here he would have been throwing less planes at us doing less because he's further away, right? When he came in, he's providing presence that's holding the cap. Also, he's baiting fire off of his teammates. So if they're not shooting him, they're shooting the Thunderer. They're shooting the other teammates he has. Which is one of the reasons why I came in to also take damage. Because if they're shooting me, they're not shooting the Montana. They're not shooting the Shimakaze. Just because he came in and died doesn't mean that he failed. Um, it's not a bad thing to pull attention. You ha I have 65,299 health points that I can give away. It's the last one that matters. So, you know, him coming up there, he held a lot of presence. He cock-blocked a lot. Um, it took a lot of my attention because he was parked behind, or parked between fucking islands that this, the Immelman sucks dick with because it needs broadsides, it needs clean lines of attack. Um... Realistically, I kept trying to go in for some kind of bombing run because you can bomb on the initial drop. That sucks. You can bomb on the initial drop with the um, with the skip bombers, but if you're dropping from height, they just blurp into the water. I mean, we might get lucky, but we went off two caps. in five minutes. I ram. Okay. I mean, the thing was, he played extremely aggressively. His team... Used some of the aggressive, but wasn't able to pull it off. Uh, the Yem 
decide instead of, you know, you could also say that the yam threw. Why? Because the yam went balls deep in with the Christopho Christopho or whatever, the Columbo. I mean, the yam is not going to excel in a broadside duel. If it's got its gun aims, yeah, yeah maybe it can hit and do some serious damage, but the Christopho f has a turtle back, although the turtle back is weird because 25 mil in some spaces. Um, and further, like, he's putting himself at a disadvantage. The Yamato wants to be... I didn't see it. Did he get the kill? I assume he got the kill. Yeah, he blapped him. Oh, boom. Congratulations on not being dead. Um, so, I mean, if the Yam is taking a broadside duel with a Christopho, which has, well, Turtleback, to what extent that matters, isn't the Yam kind of screwing that up? Yeah, clap the thunder. I mean, the thunder is just all kinds of citadel, so... Oof. Yeah. Have I done replay analysis today? No. I've only really done ranked stuff. Although, I have been pulled into talking a lot. So, that was not quite uh, what I expected to do, but... Just seems a lot of people have had a lot of questions, so we've had a lot of talking. My opinion on the Groff Zeppelin, that she's a weird Swiss army knife, and a lot of the tools are awkward and don't work. So some people love the Groff Zeppelin, because that's all they play, and they really like it. Most other people go like, the hell is this? The Torps are good, the secondaries are great, everything else is rough. To people that are extremely good at it, she can do some amazing shit. To the rest of the general populace that's going to pick it up, it's going to feel awkward and clunky. Uh, including to me. I don't play the Groff Zeppelin very much. Sorry, baking dinner. Do I like the Max Immelman? Uh, I do, Lord Zath. I find her to be interesting. She has tools for a variety of situations, but she has weaknesses as well. Um, I find her to be in a good spot. There's some people that say that the uh, the CV or the Immelman is just like, oh, it's fucking broken. It's oh, I can just I can murder everybody. I haven't found that yet, but uh, her tool set has been useful enough that I've had a lot of fun with her. I think we're pulling like a 70% win rate in ranked. Yay. He's probably going to do some really nasty shit. Autopilot mode enabled. Well, he's done with the uh He's done with the FDR now, I guess. Battleships, Yamato Kerr first. Okay. Feels like she's a farmer, like the FDR. The difference with her and the FDR, she's fast, which means she's responsive to situations. She is broadside dependent with the torps and the bombs, but she can be accurate uh, with, the, with the bombs in a broadside fashion. So having the accuracy, kind of the responsiveness, she can be interesting. <clears throat> She is different than the FDR. She's very different than the FDR. Also, having less fighters is a bitch. But I mean, hey, it is what it is, right? Fighter airborne. Is he going to work on the Plymouth or is he going to work on me? I think he goes for the Plymouth here. Yeah? Yeah, he's gonna go for the Plymouth. He dropped fighters to guard his ability to go in, but the Plymouth is just gonna be able to turn. So, because of the turn, he's gonna juke most of it. He takes one hit. Fighters should go down soon. I don't think the Plymouth is a paragon of AA. He 
can still harass the Harugumo. And sadly, our fighters are just going to get burned. But we can try to delay Bravo. Which he's going to kindly tell us where he is, which is kind of cool. Sort of a bro move. And the Harugumo has a Stalingrad and a Thunderer, so it's not like he's alone. Smolland also has a Nevsky, so it's not like he's alone either. Can we get a reset here? I don't think we can. Yeah. By the power of fuck it, we're just gonna throw. Um, go for the Yamato, maybe? He's probably parked on this island so he can aggress. One would assume... Hundred K average on NA, ninety six on EU, it beats FDR in damage. FDR average is one fifty, I think. So I'll admit I'm a little confused by that. Might be going for us. Probably swings back on the Stalin. Is Torpy the Harugumo? Whatever. I'll leave that alone. We need to work on the Yamato. We need to stop responding to what he's doing and start doing shit. Fighter airborne. Bombs for the Plymouth. What's in smoke? Smoles in smoke. Yeah, okay. He is bunkered up. There's the small. Block him with the island. We can run over with the heal. Drop the Yam, then the Kerr first, I guess. Nope, not gonna get the Kerr first. Oh, come on, buddy. Whatever. Smoles in the open, this is really clustered. Plymouth doing crazy Plymouth shit. I think I have to help him. Whatever, he's getting long range sort by the Immelman, but they don't do a lot of damage. Yes, to recall. Give him some semblance of support for a little bit. We might have to sit on this, which I'm not really interested in doing. See a small. Destination reached. Autopilot mode disabled. Uh, it strikes one of them, I guess. See the small again. Des Moines is a good target, though. Smallland is also a good target, though. Des Moines is the better target, because he has less healing. I mean, Smallland has less healing, but he's also a smaller target, so... Oh good, a Nevsky. So good to see you, friend. Looks like the second line, then. We're away from the Nevsky. Although we're still getting hurt by the fucking Des Moines. Can we burn in on this? Can we burn in on the Nevsky? Burn in on the Nevsky. Still dicking with the Plymouth. Plymouth has no guns on him though, so he's free to just spin around and do all sorts of stuff. Do all sorts of shit. Des Moines hurt, Nevsky's hurt. Let's see if we get any luck with that. These guys are super grouped. Still have an engine boost, we can try to work on these things. Do this. Maybe we'll do that. Small one's a problem.
shit. I have a heal soon. Come on, come on, come on. Mono is hurt? I think we scream in on the uh, Nevsky. There's lots of fucking planes for this. Whatever, and tried to curve them. Big waste of planes. That's not gonna do much. That might hurt though. Small? Small. Her first round in the corner. Just saw the small get hit. That's a kill on the small. See so we can hit these other cruisers. Whatever, he's dead. That's all that matters. Okay, Yamato, please, please, please. Swing on the Des Moines. Small is such a fucking problem. Be good to deal with this. The question is if we have to deal with this. Plymouth is in smoke. More torps for the Plymouth. Because always torps for the Plymouth. Can't deal with the Kerfers because he's too close to the fucking island, which means we have to deal with this stuff. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Smalland is pulling back. That's actually really good. Latch, he has to recall. Can't, I can't deal with that. Harugumo can't deal with the small end either. Not with these two dudes up his ass. Can we get the... Got a hit. At least that delayed the push for what it's worth. Harugumo dies to the small end. Turn and bail, maybe. Wow, 3,600 damage. Ooh. Feel the burn. Yeah, this is this is all kinds of rough. Nevsky killed the Plymouth? Okay. Strike again. Might end up pulling fire. Still have two decently healthy battleships. I mean, there's still some possibilities there. Autopilot mode enabled. There we go. That's useful. Dealing with the small is gonna be a bitch. I don't have any fighters, so Petra's just gonna have to deal with some shit. Nagato has too much damn health. These guys are still pretty okay. How do we deal with these guys? How do we deal with the fucking small end? We don't. It's the problem. We have to siege down the Des Moines Nevsky somehow. It's just what we have to do. All forces provide cover for that target. Maybe we work on the Yamato.
reached. Autopilot mode disabled. Can't throw away planes like this. Doesn't matter. Game is done. Whatever. Autopilot mode enabled. Get murdered by small and torps. <laughs> Whatever. Yamato, we can save a star? Probably not. Uh, although, if he repaired a fire, maybe. Maybe we get lucky there. Moyne repaired a fire, but I don't have fucking angles on him. Hey, look, it's a small end. Does he burn? The ship is on fire. He's burning. Might get lucky. Go down, please. Thank you. We destroyed an enemy battleship. Jesus, this Des Moines. It's probably like Jesus, this CV. I get it, man. I get it. And out of engine boost. Yay. Well, I guess I can't do that, can I? Whatever. Can we skip bomb him? Maybe. We got an oof. Problem solved, sir. We got an oof. The ship is on fire. This ship is on fire. The ship is on fire. I think he moves on to the line. Too bad. Hey, Shady. There's a lot more experience on this ship than I do. A lot more. But still, if we had somebody to kill the fucking Smalland, everything was different. But uh, two of our cruisers went mid. So, is what it is, man. GG Cable. Yeehaw, sir. FDR seems like it does heaps against battleships, not so much against destroyers. That is correct. Um... Yeah, Immelman can be great against destroyers if you get the shots. I mean, like, we hit the we hit the small end or something for, like, three torps? Or three bombs, rather? Right? This dude. We got, well, five bombs into him, I guess. So I guess we bombed him twice or something. But the issue is if the, if the DD has the ability to maneuver and pick, the, pick their situation, it's going to be a problem. You can cross torp them, but that's not something that I've practiced at all because there is a six kilometer distance on the torp. So theoretically, you can pre-drop the torps in the, at like a long distance and swing off and try to come in at a different angle, but they are low damage torps. Almost seems like an aberration when the skip bombers don't start a fire. They're just midway bombs. Midway bombs don't start fires all the time either. It's okay. Uh, no. It's not that I like Midway the most. Somebody asked, what's your favorite CV? Um, I'm not really sure what my favorite CV is. Uh, every time I kind of have a favorite CV, they sort of nerf it or alter it and make it less accurate, and then suddenly it's different. Um, I've played the Midway a lot, but the Midway is much more clumsy with the rocket change, and the bombs are pretty RNG, so if you have to deal with destroyers, it can be frustrating. But I mean, it's whatever. Blood chance on the torps, probably like 30 to 50%. Uh, aerial torps, pretty low. 
Aerial Torps in general have a very low percentage chance. Uh, destroyers, their flood chance is like 280 to 360% per Torp. Um, and even then, you could not get a flood. Because uh, the ship has natural resistances to floods. So it may sound like, holy shit, 300%? What? But there are things that can mitigate that. Max Immelman's having a hard time with DDs. In general, German carriers are not designed to solo DDs. That doesn't mean you can't help. Uh, with Oristofen, you could rocket a DD. If the DD's busy and you can get in a good angle, you can slam them for a good amount of damage. But if it's just you versus the DD, they could just see you turn and mitigate all your shit. Nah, get fucked. You're not going to do anything. Uh, same thing with the Torps. They could just dodge the Torps. And then, of course, AP bombs are a meme, so... I want to sneeze, but like, I'm not going to sneeze, but I want to sneeze. <sighs> MVR can deal close to what? 10k with rockets to DDs that come in at like a 30 degree angle. Uh, I did actually just, just do this. Uh, AP rocket? I think I did this. Yeah, okay. So this is what it looks like when a Richthofen fires at, an, at a uh, destroyer that's angled or broadside. This is what a, a Richthofen looks like when it's firing at a destroyer that's like bow in or ass in, where it's starting to ricochet stuff. It's much different. I want to keep playing. I mean, we've been moving forward, but like I keep talking all the time. So. I mean, we're five and two. I don't, did we save a star? I don't think we did. No. So we've lost two stars, but we gained five. So we're up three. Kind of shitty. Am I stalling to Q dodge? It's just, today's been really talkative. Normally I just kind of zone out and hit the play again button. I just hit the play again button. I just hit the play again button, but it's a whole bunch of people that keep asking questions or comment or something, so. There's constantly like a back and forth. A draw? It was a uh, training room. Training battle to show something. I think it was 8.5k. Uh, in the video, I think it was, yeah. It just comes down to like, if you can get pens, if you hit a destroyer at an angle where the uh, rockets actually arm, well then they can arm and, and pen and hit for full damage, which is a thousand a rocket. You fire 12, so theoretically you can do 12,000 damage. Realistically, I mean, good luck, but theoretically you could if all of them hit at an angle, arm, and pen. Okay. Uh, do we want to keep playing with the Emelman? No, I kind of want to play it, but I kind of don't. You still remember Mayor Draco telling you that the MVR can't deal more than 2k damage to a destroyer, and that you were delusional for thinking you had dealt 6 to 7k in a single strike. Um, well, no, it can. I hit a gearing once for 9k, which was like, what? But I did, so I remembered that. The other thing is, I'm not sure if I want to keep playing. Played for two and a half hours, I've been talking a lot. Um, I feel kind of worn out. But I could play another one. I don't know. Richthofen, four destroyers. That's a lot of destroyers. Richthofen goes hard for the Stalingrad. Don't know about the Ohio. And the four DDs is going to suck. <laughs> Figure that out, I guess.
Blue wizard needs foo badly. Blue wizard. Is that because I have like a bluish shirt? General quarters. It's not really that I need food, it's just... I don't know. If I zone out and just kind of do my thing, I can go for a long time. I can play for three hours, four hours, seven hours, whatever. When like my mind keeps getting pulled off to this question, that question, this thing, that thing, it just wears me out. I mean, teaching is a profession, right? It's an actual thing that people do. I mean, he's gonna skip out, that's fine. But this does allow the daring and approach line. Yes, it appears that the de the uh, destroyer population is declining. Turns out CVs just murder destroyers. They're all dead. Son of a bitch. There's no concealment, and they just all magically die. It's it's really terrible. Support the DDs. For a million credits a day, you too can save a destroyer. Might get one, maybe. No, nope, skipped over. I'd lose all these planes. At least we got scouting. I mean, being like positive about it. Forgot the sad music. <laughs> For only a hundred million credits a day, you too can change the life of a gearing or a shimikaze that's been bullied by tier eight CVs. By supporting us now, your donation helps to revive an endangered populace and bring them back to the game they once used to love playing where they can run around unseen fucking murdering noobs over and over and over all fucking day where they can hit new high scores with crazy ass stupid angles because people just don't expect the shit they're going to do think of the destroyers I get two there. It's a pretty shitty drop. Shimikaze's doing secret mission shit. Autopilot mode enabled. Blooded? That's cool. To put that out? He does. You go for the Marceau because the Marceau is lit. You go for the Marceau because the Marceau is lit. I would love to fire on the designated target. Hey! What are the bombs for? Hmm, could try for the Austin. Are you worried about the AP bombs? They're really scary. I agree. They might overpen you for like 600 damage. For only 5 million credits, we can repair a broken daring, savaged by the AP bombers from a Richthofen. Traumatized after being bombed again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, before he was hit even once. The constant fear lives with him on to this day. Only you can prevent forest fires. Yeah. Dudderp, 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 See, we lose a plane, but I think we can come in on this. Drop with three. That is a crispy burger. That is a crispy, crispy burger. It's getting dunked by the shimma. Hey, this ain't gonna do anything. Smokey the DD player. <laughs> Smokey the DD. Set a smoke screen, bruh. Ooh, that hit. That oof. All the oofs. Fighter airborne. Smokey the DD said fuck CBs today. <clears throat> Our team has taken the lead. Autopilot mode enabled. Victory is in sight. 
He hit the button, chat. The emergency has been called. The beacons of AA door have been lit. Sure. Is the Austin in smoke? I guess he is. Smokey the DD said fuck CVs today. Th that could definitely turn into a song. Only one? Sadness. That's a pretty much a surprise motherfucker moment. Oh, there's an Austin there. Son of a bitch. All dead. That might hurt. Patrick, Patrick Boatman. 8k? One sit. Broadside to an Austin that cannot sit at LM. Feel fairly good for the Stalin in that instance. Murder squad. Pretty healthy Ohio. We do have some rocket planes plus a small one plus a gearing that are going to keep him safe from all that. So the answer is not much going to happen there. Uh, enhanced reactions, plus he's angled, so... Them planes are dead! Them planes are dead! The destroyer population... Destroyer population is declining. The destroyer population is declining. Can you help today? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what was that voiceover? Which one? Oh, I ramble in all kinds of voices and shit. The destroyer population of North America is in decline. Oh, I think we could... Could we write something? Could we write something silly? Here, chat. I beg your indulgence. I beg your indulgence, chat. Let's write... Let's write a uh, an ode to DDs. 